six Lincolns and four Fords came directly from the two assembly plants in California in Los Angeles and were dropped off by the trucks. From that day on, we went to work each evening or each day and worked on those cars and stripped them out, took everything out of them that wasn't to be used in the race cars and set them up to what standards and what Bill Strop knew that the rules would be for 1954. The cars came with the three-speed uh, hydromatics. They were not built by Ford Motor Company. They were General Motors hydromatics. All the Lincolns in 1952, 53, and 54 had hydromatic transmissions in them. And at the time we got into Mexico City, Bill Zaring and I uh, were assigned to drive one of the two cars that had been driven from Tuxtla Gutierrez to Mexico City as testing. They were testing cars. They were the, they were the cars that were used in 1952 and 1953, and the drivers got to drive the roads from Tuxtla Gutierrez to Mexico City to test themselves and to be sure that they drove those cars exactly as the roll of maps that they had to use as guides for the co-pilots. The co-pilots had roll of maps that Bill Strop and others prepared prior to the race five to six months in advance. They'd go down there and spend three months just driving, testing.